All right, in this video, I'm going to walk through conditional formatting so that you can have one column that has different coloring than another column. Okay, so it's pretty simple to do this. There's a few steps involved, though. Start from scratch. I want to grab my players. I'm going to have one column that highlights their number of yards and then another column that highlights their number of touchdowns. So in order to do that, I have to have two calculated fields, and these are huge. So you have 0.0 and 1.0. So you right click and drag them out the columns. You do so so that you can convert them to a dimension rather than being a measure. So I'll do the same thing with, uh, with one over there. And now I wanna create a dual axis for those. So right now there will be a measure names dropped on there. We don't want that. We wanna make sure though that on this zero mark, the first one, that it's on automatic or bar. And then we start plugging this up with whatever we want. So in our case, it's yards. I'm going to put yards there. And you might be able to see the color there. You then want to take that one. So this is important. Put the one on size. And you want to, again, create it as a dimension. All right. So now we're starting to fill that out. And then we go over to the other one, the first one there. And now we put the actual value on. But we want to change it from automatic to text. So I'm going to grab my, what was it, touchdowns or yards, my first one put that on my text and there we go all right so maybe on this first one i want to fill out those gaps a little bit so i'll increase the size completely all right now we see these things on the bottom here we don't want them there those axis lines so we'll change them we'll take the tick marks off and change it to a fixed axis one and call this touchdowns i'm sorry yards okay now we can just do the same thing to get another measure value on there. So I'm gonna put my zero up here. I'm gonna put my one up here. And we'll make this dual axis as well. All right, so zero, you saw when I selected this zero over here, it jumped to that specific card over there. That's how we stay organized over here. So I got my zero there. Now what do I wanna put on? Let's put on my touchdowns on the color. But I don't like the standard color format there, so I'm going to edit these colors. Instead of green, let's make this orange to blue diverging. Say OK, and we need a size there too. So we'll put our one again, our one as a dimension on size. And we can change around that size later or whatever. And then I come over here to my automatic card. I'm sorry, my second number one card, which is currently on automatic, and I need to change that to text as well. And now I can put, what was this one, touchdowns on text. Okay, so now I've got it. And I can do the same thing to this axis over here. I edit, take off the tick marks. Make it a fixed axis. And change this title to touchdowns. And then just don't show the header anymore, and you're good to go.